What's up everybody? Today we are taking a look at our new work truck. So this is the new Dodge Powermaster one ton. This model is the 159 extended. Let's take a look at it. I'm sorry if it's windy out. It, I've been trying to do this video for a while and it has been raining, windy, or it actually snowed. So we're gonna go over this truck, we're gonna take a look at it, and we're gonna look at the uh, Milwaukee setup that we did in this truck, and uh, let me know what you guys think about it. This setup is just how we would do stuff. Customize your truck however you want. It's, it's great how you get to see everybody's different ideas on how to customize their own truck, van, etc. But Let's take a look at it, and uh, we're gonna go over in the cab first and uh, check out the cab of this uh, Power Master van. All right, so we're in the cab of the Power Master van, and we ended up going with the Power Master van because we are one of our box trucks is get, was getting really old; it had almost 300,000 miles on it. Just time for an upgrade, and so we decided to go from a box truck to a van, give this a try, see if it works, and then if it if it if it's doing a good job, then we'll end up probably getting another one for our other truck, getting rid of that big box truck too. But one of the biggest things that uh, was a seller is we're getting about 10 extra miles per gallon out of this van, which on a daily drive, if you are a contractor, that can add up pretty quickly. This is a front wheel drive van and there's kind of a lot of room if you can see in this truck, but you see that there's a big blind spot right here. And I'm six foot, six foot, six foot one, whatever, depends on what shoes I have. But sitting down, I have tons of headroom right here. But when I'm looking out, let's see if you can kind of see, when you're looking out, there's kind of a uh, blind spot here if you're tall. So I'm taller than the other guys and my dad, he's shorter. So it actually works out better for him. So I'm on the fence of whether to get one of these for when I get rid of mine. We'll start it up and then you can check out the screen. Now this is, this is a working truck, so this isn't gonna be detailed the back's not gonna be spotless like you see on other videos because we use our trucks on a daily basis. I don't have time to clean my truck every single day, but we do like to keep it somewhat organized. <laughs> okay, so on the screen, you get a pretty cool and pretty big screen. And then down below, we have a wireless charger. So you set your phone here, it'll start charging your car or start charging your phone. We have your uh, USB-C, USB ports, and we just have this big, huge touch screen uh, display. So you can connect Bluetooth, Alexa, you can have X, uh, Sirius XM radio. We can go home, and this is some, some cool stuff that I like, is we can go to vehicle, and you, it does have a navigation, so that's pretty cool. But if you go to vehicle, this thing has 360, 360 degrees of camera. So you don't really have blind spots when you're backing up. And if you hit something, that's on you. <laughs> Cause this thing, <laughs> these cameras are awesome. So we, we have a top view. I don't know if we can see that, but we have a top view of our surrounding cameras. Then we got a backup camera. And we could just, we could check all of our different cameras here. Just move them around and then we just got your normal backup camera we could exit out of that so that's pretty cool and that comes up when we go into reverse and you can decide on which cameras you want to see mainly and if you're getting into a tight spot the 360 is amazing just does a fabulous job you can get into a really tight area so on here we have our instrument panel where we can um, set the cruise. You got all your, you know, your toggle, your right and left arrows, down arrows for your, uh, you can pretty much operate anything from there, from here. 
you got your daytime running lights, turn them on, turn them off, parking brake down here. Now the mirrors on here, these are the oversized mirrors that come with the Power Master. They are awesome. They have the defrost, and then we have another mirror down below. So the the mirrors on here are amazing. I I thought that the regular Power Master mirrors were pretty big by themselves, and then I saw these on here, and they they are just huge compared to the other one. Now it does tell you up in the corner right there there's like a little triangle it'll tell you when somebody's passing you in your blind spot which is really nice uh i wish that these were one big window because right here this is another blind spot if you can see boom blind spot but you've got your power windows which goes all the way down and then we can bring them all the way back up you got your mirror adjustments and then you can lock your back doors from here. Now this does have a key fob, so it's pretty hard to lock your keys in your car or your van, which I know a lot of builders and contractors, uh, they do. <laughs> so you got your tow haul, this, this is uh, your uh, shift lever. Cup holders down here, don't like them down here. They need to be up further because you're really reaching on the ground when you need to get a beverage, like a soda, something like that. It has a little spot underneath to put like a charger or whatnot. Uh, over here, see, you can see I have, we got clutter, but you got your glove box, really nice. Airbag, a must. And then right here, we found that you have to pull up really good and you got a like another like little glove storage box up here you have your dome lights you can turn them off and on your sos and you have your assist and then you have your visors now riding in passenger is kind of kind of nice there is no armrest on that side so you can see I have one of my other cameras over there and we keep a Milwaukee cooler in the middle where we can store uh, food and drinks on those hot days and down below we have another like little Milwaukee toolbox just kind of keep in here it's really nice kind of keeps everything from getting cluttered up as a um, cab of a truck can get cluttered pretty quickly when you get a bunch of stuff in it. So this is the inside of the cab of the uh, Power Master 2023 van. Some stuff I don't like about it, some stuff I really like about it, and I'm kind of happy medium on it. So let's go take a look at the back. All right, just so if you guys were wondering, this is a nine-speed transmission. We're gonna go check it out, and it's freaking raining again. So we're gonna do a quick outside run of this. So up top here, we got a ladder rack for the uh, 159 inch extension of this van for the ladder rack. They're really hard to find and uh, expensive, but we came across, I, I gotta get out of this rain because it's like bothering me, but we came across a ladder rack for just the normal Power Master van. And one of our other contractors uh, needed a ladder rack for theirs too so we got them cheap enough we actually bought three for the price of two and we took them and basically used half of one and uh extended it and uh, made it a longer ladder rack all right now we're in the van and i'm a tall guy and because with uh the extended uh van you get extra headroom. And so what we did is we actually built a platform underneath us and we're able to store a bunch of stuff underneath, which is cool. But the downside is we have a platform and I'm six foot tall. So when I stand up, I have to kind of duck a little bit, not a big deal, but on my other van, I have plenty of headroom 
and I don't have to worry about that. So it sometimes I kind of hit my head and say W2F, but you know, it's a little compromise because we get extra storage. So if we hop down, I think it stopped raining a little bit. We're gonna hop down and we have this step right here. We added the step because when we did the platform, it, I almost fell and cracked myself out on the uh, pavement. First time doing it too. And then we're like, okay, we need to get a step. So we bought this step and uh, installed it. But what's cool is we have these drawers from uh, More Ride right there. And these were like almost half the cost of the other rollouts. And this is a four foot one. And so we're able to keep stuff stored underneath and they slide and roll really nice. And we don't have it filled up yet too much, but it holds a lot of weight and it's pretty cool. So going in here, everything's pretty much pack out. We plywooded the walls, did some pack out. And a lot of this pack out, sadly, we didn't have to, <laughs> we didn't have to buy too much. Not because Milwaukee sends it to us, it's because we buy too much Milwaukee stuff. It was pretty cool because we were able to mount the Milwaukee plates down below. We have our Milwaukee drawers, which is really nice because we got, we got, we labeled everything. I got like pliers and some, and we got screws, this is miscellaneous screws, but then we can lock everything. That's really cool because that's not going to go anywhere. And it's the, the plates locked in. And then we have the pack out cabinets. These little cabinets, they're awesome. We keep our lights, our little lights in there, which is nice. And we come over here and then we put a pack out cabinet right here because this is like our main little tools that we use all the time. So it's like we got our multi-tool in there. We got a little bandsaw, we keep batter, a couple batteries in there. And that's our go-to bin for when we are doing jobs and then we got extra batteries down here drill drill bits saw blades just the uh, miscellaneous stuff that we use a lot of and we so we don't have to hop in and uh get into the van we have battery racks with the pack out garage stuff uh did a video on those the pack out garage stuff is awesome just watch um some of the garage stuff that you put in here uh you don't want it moving around. You don't want the tools moving around. But have our extra bandsaws up there, not on a pack out uh, plate, but just on a uh, little hook, which is nice because we grab those all the time. We got our benders in the back. And, you know, we just, we use all the Milwaukee stuff and it's great, the Milwaukee totes, because they're really nice. I'm working on doing a trying to do a wire caddy with the Milwaukee pack out bin, uh, this little pack out tote. I kind of have one done and we're gonna try it out and then we'll maybe do a video on it and uh, show everybody what you can do with it. But this is cool because we added extra light because there, we got this light here and you'd think it would be enough, but see how it's kind of dark it is here? So we have, we had two of these Milwaukee underbody uh, auto lights because, you know, we have everything Milwaukee. And that's ni a nice little light. And we have one back here, too. So we can just hit that. Boom. Now we really have it lit up. It's great. And then we can dim it down. We can do whatever with it. But we'll leave that one on so we can see back here. So over here, we didn't do very much Milwaukee stuff. We kind of just did a build out right here. And... Everybody's going to have their own little ideas on how to do a build out of a van. Uh, this just seemed practical for us because uh, electricians. So, you know, if you're in carpenter, plumber, whatnot, you're going to you're going to have different styles of how you're going to build out your van. But over here we have our ladders. We use the like, little pack out uh, shelves and we uh, let's bring that down and we. Uh, we kind of have these adjustable shelves and didn't really know what to do with the ladders too much. So we have them sitting up there for now. And if we need extra space, uh, 
or shelves, we can take them out, take them out, leave them in the center. You know, it's not a big deal. They're just kind of up out of the way right now. So we have free walk, walk away and uh, not tripping over them because we know as being in the trades that this area right here, it ain't going to stay clean very much. It's going to have so much clutter and supplies stacked up and that's okay. But for right now, for right now, for right now, that's, that's how we're going to have it. So if we open up the back doors here, we can check out, we have another rollout, which this rollout, this is a bigger rollout from Moride, and it just doesn't come out four feet. It just keeps coming. And I think it comes out like eight feet, eight feet. Yeah, and it it's pretty sweet. So like that whole area is utilized for storage, which is really cool. You sacrifice some that you sacrifice the headroom, but you have a lot more storage underneath, which is cool. And I'm okay with that because I have to duck and not hit. But so when we did this platform, like I said, over in the front, you have a less area to step down. So right here, it's not too bad, but I, the first week we had this done, we realized that this still wasn't enough and we still needed just a little step here in the back. And this step actually can be adjusted. So it can go up, I think another inch or it can go down another like two inches. But this is kind of the happy medium that we found to where if we're pulling in a driveway and the driveway is kind of at a slope or an angle, that's not really hitting. It's just right there. But like if we went up like a really sloped driveway, it probably would hit. But so we, we got to be really careful about that. So we have a little pipe bend right here. This goes all the way back, goes back 10 feet, almost 10 feet because we actually went a little bit shy just so the pipe just doesn't come back here. We, we have it sticking out more, which is great. So we can easily grab pipe and, um, you know, we just wanted to have a couple bundles of pipe in the truck at all times. And anything more than that, we're going to have delivered to the job anyway. So it's not going to matter too much. We have bins underneath here for boxes, which are nice. That one, that one is uh, on a little pack out shelf just because <laughs> I think we had an extra shelf and we just kind of threw it in there and we needed uh, another storage tote. But these are stackable storage totes and we have them actually anchored in in the back. We just got like a wood screw holding each one of them. They can be uh, pulled out. Might change those out to the pack out uh, bins one of these days. But this is nice because it has a, a little uh, groove in the storage tote so you can actually get in there and you don't have to take the bin out, which is nice. These, are, these actually are Milwaukee uh, totes. And they're not the pack out totes, but they're the stackable ones. And you can you can pull them out and you got all your screws and stuff in there. And they actually, uh, see, doing this all handheld and they actually sit really nice and they haven't, they haven't fell out yet and they're not locked in, but they're just locked in this, the little groove that there is. And uh, might put a rail here to here, bungee cord or something, but they haven't fell out yet. If they, one of them falls out, then probably we will do a bungee cord. These are just uh, cheap screw uh, bins from Home Depot. These actually, they have the little mini dividers. These actually lock in just like that. And then we can also flip the bottom one up that's from underneath and we can actually lock it. So they're not moving unless all of them come out, which is nice probably should leave these locked in. This is what happens when you're in a rush and uh, you're on the job and you just want to go home and you forget to lock the stuff up and then it probably ends up on the floor. Let me know if that's happened to you guys. It happens to us all the time. <laughs> but, oh, back here, if we look back here, there is a little overhead compartment up here that we just kind of keep some stuff in. Um, it'll probably end up getting filled with clutter. Well, I don't know why the screw box is sitting here. That's going to fall and make a mess and it was unlocked. But um, yeah, 
So all in all, this, this is a pretty good setup going from a big box truck. It's an adjustment, but uh, we're trying to make it more efficient and not because having having a box having a box truck um, like our big ones. I don't know if you see that big box truck. It it's awesome. You can fit a lot of stuff in it, but you can fit a lot of stuff in it. So you're, you're, you got so much crap and extra supplies that you never use. I think that there's a couple like drills in there that like we, there are a couple corded drills still in the truck that we haven't used in like over 10 years. And it, see, I just bumped my head again. Uh, and over like 10 years and you don't need, you know, it's just a waste of storage and you could be having a smaller truck. And so the wind's picking up. It's getting pretty nasty out. But, um, yeah, it's 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 a compromise, and it takes some adjustment from going to a uh, big truck to a smaller truck. Uh, like I said, gas mileage, big improvement on gas mileage. We're getting about 10 extra uh, more uh, miles miles per gallon off of this truck than the other box truck, which is great. This is a one-ton, by the way. It has a nine-speed transmission. If you want to get all the specs of the Power Master, go to Dodge Power Master, uh, Dodge Ram Power Master .com, and uh, you can check out all the specs on there because they have a bunch of different specs for the Power Master series. You know, this is my packout build of the van. What we did works for us. Let me know in the comments below uh, if you have any ideas on what else to do or. Uh, if you like the video, like and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribing, do so. I'm Philip Bridges, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.